Hello, Jane. Hello, Moose. Hello, Linda, Shannon. Hello. I will have my computer here for the start. And then we will get messy today. Um, yeah. Uh, we will wait for a second. Hello, Lupe. Hello, Cindy. Good morning to States. It's 7 p.m. here in Slovenia. Uh, hello, Irene. Yeah, a little weird days. This, this came to in life. That's how real life is. Sometimes we just don't feel full of energy or whatever. Hello, Singa. Uh, yeah, I like to swing when I talk. <laughs> Those who saw me live in Purkon on Purkon, I probably did that quite a lot. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little uncomfortable in front of... I rather show just my work. I don't know. Hello, Rochelle. Um, hello, Talisma. Hi. Um, so, uh, I will go today with my flowers again. Uh, sometimes it's just, you know, uh, time for poor, more abstract things or how can I say uh, but today I feel to do some flowers and uh, because a lot of people still think that flower dip and reverse flower dip is the same thing is not uh, and the results are different that's why I decided today that I will do uh, Probably first reverse flower dips because I need the space for the flower dip because with the flower dip I pour my paints on the surface, on the plastic, on the silicone mat, whatever you use on your table and dip your canvas in and the skin when it dries stays on your plastic but because it will stay there I will do a reverse flower dip First, that I pour my paints on canvas direct and then use a napkin. And because of these two are different too, regardless to the pattern, because when we do a reverse flower dip that we pour on the canvas and we use the napkin to create a pattern, or how can I say, uh, the flower, all the weight of the paint goes from the sides of the canvas towards the middle and you get a different shape of a flower and different effects with reverse flower dip because when you do a dip on your surface you know you have to um, um, tender your canvas a little bit and you push your paint you know under the canvas towards the sides and even though if you lift it up straight up it still does doesn't gather as much paint in towards the middle and it's different result you will see that it's different i just want to do a co comparison today maybe it will be interesting and you can decide which one suits you more and try one so and since i'm talking about that i will teach that in dublin in june on uh, fluid art boutique excited for ireland excited for dublin excited for meeting again some lovely people from states that i became really became become really good friend Mina Valegas will be there Sarah Mack Karen from Waterfall Acrylics Erica Hughes Art um, Fosia Creation from Netherlands 
and of course we need a guy so Nate Bright will be there too so this freestyle under that flower dip and reverse flower dip and we will do that live in Dublin in June 2024 I'm excited so okay I will put my computer here we have a space for do my art, doing my art and a little bit of te technical stuff of course when I will try to switch my uh, tripod like always I think that I have to do this first okay and now yeah but I have to sorry guys I have to turn my tripod this way I'm just not good with the technology you know that okie doke I think this should be oh try to get you a little closer but okay manage to do that I think that we are okay now. Uh, just that I don't see a phone. It's okay. I will check. Hello to South Carolina. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Brenda. I just checking. Hello, hello, Anka. Hello, Janet. Hello, Joe. Joe Chiana. Hello to Brazil. Uh, hello Sylvia, so uh, while I'm poor, you know, I can't see a lot on the, in the comments, that's why I thought last week, hello Robin, to do <laughs> Linda, yeah, international, okay, so Let's start with the reverse flower dips, as I said. I will use some alizarin and violet. I, put, I did put all the colors in the description box in this video too. Some permanent violet by Windsor Newton. Some nectar red light. This is an orangey color from Amsterdam. This is Lucas Creel Indian yellow. And of course my pearl white. And I did got mixed some 24K gold, but sometimes this gold take over, takes over so much that I don't know. Uh, and of course, black for my base. Everything is mixed with my pouring medium. I didn't still decide if I want to do, I don't know, maybe bottle bottom one, but Lately, I did a lot of bottle bottom ones. What if we do puddles today? Let's do puddles. Because, as I said, this will be reverse flower dip, and I call it from puddles to flower. You can use, you know, this uh, bottle bottom to pour over. You probably know. But if somebody is new, you can check. I have a ton of reverse flower dip videos on my channel that I will not I used to pour um, and here it gets messy quite a lot of black on my canvas and then I tilt it back to the cup and I do some mess but I like to do that that I have an even coat of paint all over the canvas because with the reverse flower dip we will uh, and here it gets messy um, we will pull some paint off with our napkin so and because I like to do that because I can just scrape the excess paint back to the cup so we don't lose as much I should use a little bigger palette knife for this part but <laughs> it's okay. Uh, 
you see in live videos everything that it's normally in the backstage or how can I say because lately it's a trend you know that you have to show just the important things but this is important too it's a part of the process okie doke I hope that I'm back in the focus I am and when I was looking to my colors I decided that I don't want a lot a lot of lacing so I will use pearl white and then all the colors and then pearl white again I will not separate every color with pearl white if you want more lacing or more pearl white effects you can add pearl white between every layer or every color I should say I will just put this real quick and I have this circle around I don't know metal thing because I just want to kind of have it in the middle <laughs> so I will start with puddles and I believe that I will do just five of them and then crisscross criss cross them how can I say so and here I will go more one color on top of each other not and then I will switch that a little bit and I think that this is this circle is not the best idea I don't know <laughs> Maybe it will affect the petals, but I will leave it for now. Okay, this will be one. And now I will go in the middle of those again with five. I like those colors together. I think that this flower should look pretty nice. I don't know. If you don't try, you don't know. I like to say that because it's true. And that's why fluid art is interesting. Because you can always try new things. Okay, let's do another one maybe with a little smaller puddles and remember when we will do our napkin we will grab paint towards the middle so this one maybe it will not even show through a lot And pay attention to the pattern that you create in this part because um, it has to be nice if you want to have a nice flower. And now I have circle here with pearl white, but it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I will spray my paper napkin with water only. And probably I can't do this in, in focus. And I already had some black paint on. And now to the hardest part. Uh, la, la, la. I will uh, when I will finish I will go back and read some comments and then we will go to a flower dip so I will place my napkin where the middle of my flower is first half it's just easier for me to 
place it like that, half and half. Okay, and now I will just touch, give it a little magic touch, hopefully, and start lifting the corners, staying in the middle, trying to be as close to, to the canvas as I can, that I will not start pulling the, the pattern already. I don't want, I want to be hidden. Oh, this corner was a... I'm out of practice. And slowly up towards the middle. Oh, this one is weird. This one is weird. Or not. Let's see. So, because I didn't want as much lacing today you see it just here and there is not a yeah lupe it's kind of bird of paradise it's a, a little weird one but not a bad one i will just do a fiona touch in the middle okay so this is the reverse flower dip of course you can spin it out at this point you can decide what you want to do i normally want to leave some negative space i don't know because i like those flowers you know to stand from this um, background you have to know that if you would spin you would do your pattern in the middle would be bigger so you have to decide do you like this middle so you want to stretch it i'm kind of i'm not crazy about this this flower i will admit but okay let's do a flower dip now maybe i can leave this for a second and check the uh I'm here at the computer if somebody has some questions. Thank you. Yet, yeah, Alisma, I like the negative space too. Hello to New Jersey. Linda, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Okay, let's put this aside and go to the flower dip so for the flower dip let's see if i'm in frame i'm alone today Rako is not at home so you know it's not the same when i have a backup so i will just mark where i want my paint to be for the flower i'm kind of think that I will like this one more than the reverse one. So that's why, you know, we do that comparison today. I should just pour some paint on. Um, you have to have some paint, but not, you know, a lot, a lot, but this is not enough. And I will add a little bit on my canvas too, just to wet my canvas before I will dip here. And I will do the same, totally the same that we will see, even though it will be not, it will not be pretty because I didn't, I wasn't crazy, crazy about the first one. I could, you know, now think about that and 
do some changes, but we will not see the proper result then. So let's do the same. Just adding a little paint just to wet my canvas. But this is still, you know, you can try. Maybe you like just bare canvas because it is a little different, I think, if you put a little paint on your canvas too. You can do the sides later always, so don't bother about the sides right now. Okay, I'm good. So clean my hands a little bit and start again. So I will just mark this and remove. One, two, oop, three, what did I did? What I did now? I had five of them, not six. Because I want to do totally the same thing. not. Maybe I should leave that baby there. See how big is gap with between those two but <laughs> I was talking that you have to be careful to do your pattern nice and then I screw it up but that's how it is sometimes. I hope that you are talking to each other, that it's not too boring. <laughs> because I can't chat with you while I'm doing that. Maybe these colors would be whoop nicer on uh, with bottom bottom pour. I don't know. Maybe this one is a little crazy looking one. Like in nature, nothing is perfect. Maybe it will look nicely looking wild flower at the end. <laughs> Sending myself positive vibration. <clears throat> Dip my canvas in to that. Uh, and at this part, I don't like to, you know, press too hard on the canvas, and of course, I will mess it up because I don't want to squish my paint too much. Just want to make sure that it covers the canvas, hopefully. Uh, and now I will try to lift it right up. And here again, you can definitely lift it just like that. But <clears throat> it will create different, different pattern. Just play with it, what you like more. So I will kind of try to lift it right up. And it's Weird one too. <laughs> it's a weird day, obviously, today. 
maybe because I was so into that that I don't want a lot of lacing today that I want just a little bit of lacing and maybe because I'm used to create flowers with more lacing maybe that's why I think that they look weird but they are not ugly or something I will just cover my sides and then I will check what is in under Whoop. because that will be my skin that you can use I have a lot of videos about skins too how to use them so if you are interested you can check and it will help me <laughs> to earn something on YouTube Okie doke, so you see it's pretty different than the other one and here is what is left on plastic and it's something that you can use after it's dry too or you can dip some other one, one other canvas in. So how should I now do that? How? What time is it? I was pretty quick, I think. If we have time, I can try some other technique. I will check my chat now. Thank you, Sheila. Yet Alice Matamoko do beautiful ones. I love them. Thank you, Moose. At least my I can't do Dutch poor cedar. I'm just not good at Dutch pours. Oh, it's not even half an hour. So I have black left. I have all the colors left. What should I do with them since I still have time? Thank you, Brenda. If, if you want to see some other, I don't know, split cup. Thank you, Giselle. Hello to Montreal. More. Same technique, but not the flower. Okay, what should I do? Ideas. What, not the flower? What should I create? I don't know. <laughs> I was just doing so many flowers with those, those techniques. Brenda says spiral flower, but I think that I saw. I think that split cup wins. So I have to put my, 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 my uh, paintings away because, oh, whew, but I need the space. So I will have to turn my camera to the other part let's do that but I still need to do put my flower down from the spinner because I will need the spinner whoop flower is down you will have to wait a second that I reorganize this place okay where should I pour? I need a place for... <sighs> because I have this, you know, flower on the plastic there. So now I have a problem because I don't have space. But I will do it. Just bear with me. 
please. I'm not very well organized. Never. So I will grab a 12 inch canvas. I believe. Okay, no. I have a canvas. Now I have to figure out where to put my spinner and we can start. <laughs> So I can do it here, probably, okay, I will now switch, don't look at my floors, oh my god, this will not work probably, I have to put my gloves off. I'm such an, I don't know how to say what I am with this technology. Okay, this is not the best angle, but it will have to work. So how many colors do I have? And do I want to separate them all? Or should we pour all in one and then black and white? Let's see. Maybe there should be some gold. I don't know because I have 24 gold, to K gold too. So what if we do three chamber, split cup and add all the colors here and maybe pearl white, no, no, I will separate them, so pearl, I have six, no, I need seven because I need some black too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one will be the right one. Okay. Gather my colors. Okay. And black. Okie doke. So how I want to layer them. I want to have black on the outside. And I will go with a lizard and violet next. And the magenta. Oop. So with split cups you can decide if you want every color to be separated for, from another or you can use less chambers and pour more colors in one. What is that? How did I count six? Because I have gold and now I don't want to use gold and white next to each other but I will have to so this is gold but not I will add it less gold than other colors because I don't want so much of it and I did add some pearl white because I want some effects maybe And I do pour from up high and slow. And what I do with split cups, I watch the pattern that split cup create. I don't want, I don't watch split cup or I don't know, I watch 
what colors create creating on canvas and if you pour faster you will get those fingerlings but I like to pour slow to get this feathery kind of look. I like this gold and yellow and white together, so beautiful. These cups are sometimes like never-ending cup. I still have some ooh, some paint in, in there and I will just kind of don't want to pour it around. Maybe let's go right here. And you can jiggle, you can do ring pours. Just watch what your stream of paint creates on the canvas. And then decide. Okay. I will pour some black around. I like to have a flow extender, but because I like to have enough paint to work with it, not to be afraid that my lines will go in a weird way if I will not have enough paint on canvas. 
I rather feel it off that this gold really maybe there sh I should use the gold with the flowers too because it's beautiful and I don't mind to kill that part off because just look that what is happening Doke. And now I will work on the composition. I definitely want to tear this part off. Okay. And just a little bit of that. And back. Okay, this is what I look at as a right um, orientation for me. And here, at that stage, you have to check your sides. Oh, maybe this palette knife is not the right one. Am I even in frame? Voila. Raiko is home. Save me. Okay, this corner is done. I need some more black for this corner. And some purple. To match that. Oop, my hands are shaking with the split cup. You know, it's not so easy to... to uh, have your hands steady for so long, even if I have this problem because I'm not the youngest anymore. Rajko, kjer vas mir bi pomogla dat, kaj nisem mogla, sem mogla spreminjati, veš, zelo. Sem vidi, ja, to sem gledala. Ah, ja. Ok. In real is so beautiful, this gold and yellow together looks amazing. And now I will take you down and try to find all the paintings too, for a close-up. Just, I will just wash my hands because I have to grab my phone and I don't want with those hands. Okay, so let's go down. Let's go with the prettiest one first. What do you think? So this is the split cup. And I was afraid about gold and pearl white together next to each other. But look at this so soft and beautiful with pearl white and yellow uh, gold and those yeah blending of colors they are just amazing and all the shimmer i wish that i would do something with this mm, if there is always something isn't it but if you look at it from the distance, it's okay. So I will not do nothing. So this is what is on the plastic. Here is our flower dip that it's, a, <laughs> you know, 
I told you already what I think about this one. Uh, and I will say that I like the reverse one. Because I like that more. Um, I will definitely leave all those to dry. And I will show you those on the next live. Next week is uh, Christmas. I will not go live. And what is the next Monday? It's New Year's Eve. If it's New Year's Eve, we will see you again on New Year with my lives. But uh, I'm so glad that I did this. Thanks for, for all that voted for the split cup. New Year, yeah. So... See you first, no, second Monday, second Monday in January, because January, because on January the 1st, you will all be with your loved ones, your families, and probably me too, so, yeah, I could swirl the center, but sometimes you just, you know, ruin with the little I'll I do that a lot of times after I watch my video when I edit it or something I think what did I did I should leave it so I will just stand back and leave it because I don't know it's a little stone hedge thing in the middle <laughs> uh, thank you all for being here have a happy holidays and see you in my next video. Bye.